How's it going everyone? Cubologist here again, finally. Sorry, it's been a little while, but I just got home from my sister's graduation and this package was here and I'm super excited because I actually think there's a few things in here. A couple that the cubicle sent me and one that I ordered on my own, so let's get into it real quick. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. This is the new Chi Yi or Ki Yi Thunderclap. It's Q-I-Y-I. -I. I think it's Chi Yi, but my pronunciation's horrible, as you all know. And then we've got, let's see, a receipt. We don't need that. And a couple orders of stickers. Just wanted to try out some different greens there, but I still like grass green. As you guys know, they accidentally sent me, or I accidentally ordered, which is probably more likely, fluoro green last time, so I wanted to change it out and try some different shades just to see what looked good. So then let's see what else is in here. Looks like, okay, this is the, the same brand, Chi Yi. This is the Dimensions Cube. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to get into that. And, and I think we've got one more thing in here. Looks like it's already open. But as you can see, it is the Calvin's Curvy Dino. So that's pretty cool. I really like the chocolate colored plastic, so that's what I got. Now, first I wanna get into this one because I have to say that I'm probably the least excited for it, but it still looks pretty cool. So let's see here. All right, so taking a look at this, something I didn't notice before, but you can kind of see right there. This is actually transparent plastic. Ah, it turns pretty good too. But yeah, I thought this was black with stickers on it. But let me zoom in, see if I can show you how this is made. It is actually tiles that have been put in there. It's like it's recessed down into the cube. So you can see there it's not raised at all, but they are textured. You can see there's some small holes in there. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. I actually didn't know anything about this puzzle. Then I just saw it on their website and thought it looked pretty cool. And wow, this must be made out of a bullfight or something like that because this turns extremely well. But I'll be doing some averages with this cube in the future just to see how the different shapes and the stickers or tiles as they are might affect my times. And now let's get into this thunderclap. So you guys know that the bullfight was actually rebranded as the New Island Phoenix and everybody really liked that. I actually didn't have the bullfight, but that's because I was told it was the exact same. Now this is pretty interesting because even though this comes from Chi Yi or Mofangi, however you say it, or whichever company it is, it's not New Island, but they're using the, the exact same packaging now. As you can see, we've got the large box with the puzzle and the bag in there. So I think it's all legitimate as far as rebranding and stuff goes. But yeah, that's just what we are dealing with now. Maybe just a rebrand, but this is supposed to be a new design and I'm pretty excited to see that. So this is the Thunderclap and it feels like it wants to move really quickly. You can see there the Florian cuts are pretty large. Even though they're large, the cuts aren't as rounded as they were on the Phoenix or the Bullfight. So this is pretty cool. You can see we've got a different logo there. I know the Phoenix didn't come with a logo and I don't know about the bullfight, but this is Mofang or Mofang Yi. So let's do first turn. So yeah, I'm not even warmed up. This cube, it feels kind of light compared to other cubes, but not really. It's pretty typical as far as weight goes, but it feels really good. Let's take a look at corner cutting. Start at 45, a little bit of, yeah, you need a little bit of force there. Uh, reverse, okay. Line to line, so 45 forward and line to line reverse. Fairly typical, but the feel of this is super, super airy and fast. I haven't felt a cube like this in a little while. It feels a lot like a Moyu cube. And as you can see there, looks like pretty typical shades too with fluoro orange and green and fluoro yellow. So it's typical kind of Moyu shades, but I'm sure it's not exact. But yeah, pretty good cube. So I will be doing more videos on this and even a review. And now let's get into the Curvy Dino. All right, so I've seen some other puzzlers do reviews of this, just do a size comparison. This thing feels large. And yes, it is probably about the size of a five by five. Let's see here. A little bigger than five by five, probably a six by six. Don't have one handy, but anyway, 
Yeah, like I said, I ordered this chocolate plastic because I thought it looked really good. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm already hearing some spring noise. But if you guys aren't familiar, this is the Curvy Dino. It's designed by Evgeny and mass produced by Calvin's Puzzle. So this is pretty cool. It's supposed to be a little bit easier even than a Dino Cube because there is an obvious orientation. You know the color scheme because the center stickers never move. And a turn really affects just a small portion of the cube. So let's see what it looks like all scrambled up and I will fumble through a solve for you guys here. All right, so I'm gonna call that scrambled and you can see why this puzzle is supposedly so easy. We will see here in a second when I start trying to solve it, but these pieces never move, the corner pieces. So as far as like a cross goes or what would typically be a cross on a three by three, let's see, we can take a look at the white side here. All you have to do is turn these down feels a lot like pyramid moves and then you're done so that's pretty simple and then I'm going to go on with the solve here and we'll talk about some of my thought processes so we'll find the white pieces this one is orange and white so it goes right there I'll just do a cycle to put it down like that it's locking a little bit but I think that's because it wants to move however you hold it other other things move like that so that's why it's locking. It actually turns really well. So then we'll take, let's see here, the green one. You can move these top pieces without having to worry about it. So then we'll put this one in. Just like that. Then blue. Now we've got to get it, oh, I went the wrong way. We've got to get it over here. Then we'll put it in down there. So this is, yeah, this is the same moves as putting in pyraminx edges. If you do layer by layer the way I do, which is bottom first, this is pretty simple puzzle solving techniques, which even I know, which is impressive for me because I'm not good at solving puzzles. All right, and yeah, we'll move this back up. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the whole bottom face done. And now we need to start putting these in. This one's already in. This one's in but flipped. And this one's already in. So let's find the red and green and see what we can do here. So what I'm going to do is just put it in like that, not paying attention to the orientation up here. So there's that. All of them are, wow, they're in. Okay, so that was good. This wasn't flipped. I said that though. So then let's see. We need to turn all of these up first. Let's do that. Maybe I was going about that wrong. And how are we going to switch these? So we'll just do a cycle like this again. All right, so I had a brain fart there and I couldn't think of how to insert these, but after a couple seconds, I think I've got it here. So let's see, this green and red one goes there. So what we're going to do is we can play with this slot, move that up up down and down then we've got green and orange right here so we'll put it over there just got to go down like that so move this up over and move that down move this back up and there is essentially first two layers or we've got the edges or whatever they are in right here and now let's see here looks like we've got to switch these two and flip them so there is that one in and nope all right i will figure this out so now we've got this this to go here that to go there. All right, and there we go. So I just had to repeat a couple moves here on top. 
I could have been a lot more efficient, but I still haven't completely wrapped my head around it. I just did a couple moves until it works. <laughs> but I can tell this is a pretty simple puzzle to solve. And you guys, just stick with me. I'm learning how to solve other things than speed puzzles, I promise. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I really enjoy these. This puzzle turns so fantastically. This is a really good new 3x3. If it was a Moyu, it would be super popular. It kind of feels like the Hualong. So that's just a first impression, but I will be doing more work with this. I got some stickers for it. I plan on doing my daily average of five with it tomorrow. So that should be pretty fun. And this is a blast. So expect more videos out on all of these puzzles. Thank you to the cubicle for sending me these. I'm super happy with them. So go check it out. I think this puzzle runs for about $7. The thunderclap is nine and this one's pretty expensive it's 30 or 40 bucks but it's worth it i think if you're just getting into solving things other than speed cubes so like i said thanks for watching guys give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxings and you'll hear from me really soon later guys Ooh.